I chose the book The True American because of the trailer that we watched during the school year. During the APLAC meeting made the book seem like it'd be kind of interesting. I anticipate the book will be about a murder that occurred in the state of Texas, and I'm looking forward to enjoying the book because it seems like it might be pretty good. I chose True American because of the summary in the back of the book caught my attention with the vengeful American shooting an immigrant. And because of that, I'm assuming that um, this book might talk a little bit about some of the hardships that immigrants face here in America. And um, after reading that, I'm looking forward to reading this book. So why do you guys think that Stroman shot Rice and the other two men? Because he was angry with what had happened in days before with 9-11 and having one of his family members killed in the attack. And he wanted to take it out on people that weren't what he thought a true American was. Yeah, I think he was just retaliating, so maybe you can make him feel better. Well, my question is more based upon like the way like America handles bills and like how do you think like the US handles bills especially towards like towards part of the poor? I think they don't really take the poor into account that much. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Mark Stroman's opinion on what a true American is similar to what some people believe today. That's basically just all of that. Uh, yeah, I think that there's a lot of people who are super, like, is nation it's nationalistic, is that a word? I don't know, nationalism, like, they're super, like, you know, do you guys know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, they're super, like, uh, I think the word patriotic. Is racist. racist? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I think, yeah, there's still a lot of racism and like, extreme patriotism that goes on in like, society today. Like bias, right? Like yeah. Bias. And there's people that like blame immigrants on certain things. So. Yeah, closed mindsets and stuff. That um, race will like kind of make peace with his like attack by the end of the book. Um, sorry. <laughs> Because uh, he's like really religious, and a lot of the time, religion, like, religions don't let you, like, or don't want you to, like, hold grudges or, like, waste your life, like, holding a grudge against something or someone. You know, same thing. Or, like, because of his religion, he's gonna, like, try not to hate. I guess like a true American would be like um, someone who's like trying to make something out of their life, uh, trying to, I guess, succeed, like how you said. I think that it's someone who's like loyal to America and would do a lot of stuff, just a lot of stuff, do anything basically for the country, but not on extreme levels and don't go to the lengths of killing other people. Yeah. So, uh, in your guys' opinion, like, in the book, who is the true American? Um, I mean, I think it's both. I mean, who was the better person is Rice. But, like, Stroman came around in the end and noticed that what he did was wrong. I mean, his intentions were what he thought were good and he was doing it for America so I guess he was like kind of putting himself out there for America even though he was doing the wrong things uh, but Rice came to America and was like loyal to America and took all his opportunities that he could and remained a good person yeah I mean I guess I agree with what you're saying I don't really know so much about like Stroman I guess like what you said is kind of correct like, he came around in the end, um, but I definitely believe that Rice, like, is a true American because of his personality and how he goes about life, trying to be, um, a good person. I'd say both, but, like, they're, like, different types of true American. Like, one, like, Mark is, like, more of the 
patriotic one, like Rise is like the successful one, like made something with his life. I enjoyed the story because of the actions that Rice took throughout the story. Like my favorite part personally was after he got shot, after he suffered his depression and anxiety, he got back on his feet, got himself a job in an olive garden, and from there his life just got better. And my um, my prediction was correct in the first video, how talking about some immigrants might face some hardships in the U.S. And it did talk about that, like debt and discrimination. And um, the hardest part for me reading was when Rice was suffering through all that depression and he didn't want to go out and do anything. And um, overall, I enjoyed this book. It was very interesting and kept me reading. Well, I thought The True American was a really good book. It was really interesting. My favorite part was when Rice campaigned against Mark Stroman's death penalty because I thought that showed a lot of personality. My least favorite parts was when it was predictable because there was parts that just weren't surprising at all. I kind of had an idea before reading the book what it was going to be about, but there were still a lot of parts that I was just like super surprised by that I was not expecting. Um, the most difficult part to read was in the beginning when they were describing the murders. It was really detailed and overall I just thought it was a really good book. I really enjoyed reading The True American. I thought it was a very interesting book. One of my favorite parts is when Mark Stroman finally realized that his actions were wrong. My anticipations with from my uh, pre-reading vlog video were in the end correct. My least favorite part about the book was basically all the suspense with me having to stop and not being able to read the book all at once. Overall, I thought the book was really good and I would definitely recommend it for students next year.